I'm James and I work here at the John Innes Centre. The scientists here are really interested in understanding better the science of plants and in particular plants that we eat, foods like the tomato. Something that's really interesting is that tomatoes aren't all the same. I've got some here, look, some are orange and some yellow, some are red, some are really tiny and some are really big and they taste and smell slightly different too. So why is that? Well it's because of their DNA. The DNA is really the instructions to tell something how to grow. And that DNA is broken up into genes and those genes control things like colour and taste. So the scientists are really interested in understanding which genes are responsible for which thing. So those genes are part of the DNA and the DNA is inside all living things, inside the cells that make it up. Those cells are really just little packages of different materials and inside those are other packages. One of those is called the nucleus and it's in there that we find the DNA. So we've come indoors into the lab and we've got some of our tomatoes. And I'm going to show you how you can get that DNA from the inside of these tomatoes so that we can see it. We know that the DNA is inside the cells, tiny packages inside these tomatoes. The first thing we need to do to get it out is to chop them up. So I'm just going to pop it into this blender and give it a zuz. So that's broken my tomato up, but if I want to get the DNA right out, we're going to need something else too. We need to make our extraction solution. The first thing is some water. So that is a quarter of a cup of water. And I'm going to add this too. I've got some washing up liquid, some soap. And we've all been washing our hands all the time, haven't we, uh, for the last few months. And the reason we're told to use soap and wash our hands thoroughly is that the soap breaks open the walls of those little packages that all living things have. It will kill the virus, but it will also let us get the DNA out of our tomato by breaking down those barriers. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of washing up liquid. So that will help our DNA escape, but when it comes out it's going to be tangled up in all sorts of other things and we want to get rid of those. So to make it easier to see and break it apart I'm going to add some salt too. So about half a teaspoon of salt. Give that a little bit of a stir. So I'm just going to add that into my tomato mixture. And we'll blend that up. So inside here then, I've got my tomato and hopefully we've broken down all the cells so the DNA can escape but we've still got some quite big bits of tomato in there and I want to get rid of those so I'm just going to put it through a little sieve. Okay, just pour that through. Give it a little bit of a stir. Okay, so in the glass then, we've got the juice out of that tomato and we know that contains the DNA and we hope we've broken open those cells so the DNA can escape. But there's still some quite large things in there, some bits of broken cells, and we want those to settle out of the way to make it easier to see the DNA. So I'm just going to leave it for about 10 minutes for that settling to happen. <laughs> Oh. 
So we've waited about 10 minutes and the heavier things have dropped to the bottom of the glass. So in there we have hopefully the DNA that's come out from inside the cells of those tomatoes, but we can't see it. And we can't see it because it's dissolved in the water that's inside the glass. What I'm going to do is add a different liquid, a liquid that the DNA can't dissolve in and then we'll be able to see it. So I've got some surgical spirit. Now I've had this in the fridge to keep it nice and cool because that will help. And I need to pour it gently onto the surface of the, of the water in the glass. So I'm going to pour it just down the side of the glass. And it will float on top of my tomato -y mixture. And very slowly it will start to mix with the tomato and the water underneath. And as it does that, we should start to see little strands of our DNA coming out and being visible on the top. We need to leave that to happen, so we're going to wait another two minutes or so. So now we've left it to settle, we can just start to see some white material appearing in the surgical spirit on top, and that is our DNA. Now DNA is really, really tiny, so what we're seeing is quite a lot of it clumping together in the surgical spirit. Now we could do the same thing, of course, with any living thing, because everything contains DNA. So we could put a banana with some soap and some salt, and we'll see the same result. We could put you in a glass and mush you up with some soap and some salt, and your DNA would come out too. I wouldn't recommend doing that particular experiment. <music> 